Greetings and salutations. Thank you for lending an ear to The Voice of the Times this Wednesday, November 25, 2020. For today's editorial, the alarming lack of details in the government vaccine plan. Government's aspirations for an end to the COVID-19 crisis and a return to economic productivity are largely based on the assumption that one or more vaccines against the coronavirus will soon be available. And to that end, President Rodrigo Duterte appointed retired Army General Carlito Galvez Jr. as vaccine czar to organize the procurement and distribution of the much-anticipated medicine. With news that all four of the effective vaccines that have been developed so far will start to be rolled out for mass use within weeks, the apparent lack of progress in the government's vaccine plan, indicated by an almost complete absence of details about how vaccinations will be managed here, is almost alarming. The latest information on the progress of the vaccines is that those created by Pfizer and Moderna may be given approval by regulators in the U.S. as soon as next week and begin distribution by the second week of December while the other two promising candidates, China's Sinovac and Russia's Sputnik V, are likely to be available before the end of the year. In a briefing on Tuesday, palace spokesman Harry Roque reported secondhand that Galvez is in talks with the vaccine manufacturers and that a distribution plan has been created, wherein the vaccine will be prioritized for coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19 hotspots, such as Metro Manila and Davao City, and targeted for poor, indigents and vulnerable sectors, health workers, military and police, and other frontliners. A search for additional information, including contacting concerned agencies such as the Department of Health, failed to uncover any other details beyond those disclosed by Roque. With all due respect to Secretary Galvez, contacting the vaccine manufacturers and articulating the strategy of directing the vaccine when it arrives to the areas and segments of the population where it is needed most are only the most elementary steps, ones that ought to have been accomplished on day one of his appointment as vaccine czar, more than three weeks ago. Galvez was named to his post by President Duterte on November 2. The availability of one or more vaccines is not only the critical component of the government's economic recovery strategy, it is the key to the practical planning of millions of Filipino businesses and households for the much-anticipated return to more or less normal activities, including work, schooling, and travel. For the government to be publicly addressing the vaccine plan in generically abstract terms is not only discouraging, it is a serious impediment to overcoming the months-long pandemic crisis. It may be, of course, that the government knows much more than it is sharing with the public, but if that is the case, it is forgetting in our modern information age, such a posture simply gives the impression that it is unprepared. At this point, Rather than broad descriptions of where the vaccines will go and who will receive them first, the government should be providing information that would give some indication that it has addressed known hurdles, such as the logistics of transporting and storing medicines that require special handling, financing the procurement and distribution of the vaccines, the expected cost and means of accessing the vaccines for the considerable proportion of the population that does not necessarily need to rely on government to pay for the treatment. And perhaps most importantly, a reasonably accurate estimate of the time frame for availability. If the government has this information, it is in its best interest to practice transparency and disclose it in detail to the public. Otherwise, it risks undermining its own efforts to manage the public health crisis. Earlier this week, reports revealed that at least one center and one congressman had managed to obtain COVID-19 vaccinations, prompting the health department to issue a warning to the public against the use of unapproved vaccines. If one or more vaccines are available, whether they are approved by the government or not, supply and demand will eventually meet, unless the government demonstrates that it has the vaccine program firmly under control and available for all. As of right now, it has a great deal of work to do to convince the public that that is the case. And that's the editorial for Wednesday, November 25, 2020. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print. Subscribe to our digital edition or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And listen to The Voice of the Times.